A congestion charge in Auckland is no longer a debate. It's happening. The council has agreed to develop a time-of-use charge for parts of the motorway by 2026. But a veteran transport advocate has described the proposal as ridiculous. Zane Small explains. Electronic road pricing has been used in Singapore for decades. And very soon, Auckland will have its own version to combat the daily rush hour gridlock. Recognise uh, the licence plate on the vehicle and then charge that vehicle the appropriate fee based on where, it, where and when it is driven somewhere. Auckland Council yesterday voted in favour of developing a time of use charge. Mayor Brown? Vote yes in favour. To align with the launch of the City Rail Link in 2026. Congestion is estimated to cost Auckland up to $1.3 billion a year. And an investigation by six government agencies found that a modest charge applied to drivers during peak hours could help to reduce congestion by up to 12%, similar to what we see during the school holidays. The Employment and Manufacturers Association is fizzing about potential for clearer motorways. You can't get anything through. So, um, you know, there are parts of Auckland now where our firms won't deliver after 2pm in the afternoon. The council will now develop a formal plan but we know it'll be a charge applied to drivers to use certain areas of the motorway during peak morning and afternoon traffic. Busy corridors like this, State Highway 1 between the Penrose and Green Lane on-ramps. The Mayor's floating $5 per trip. I mean, rich people are going to continue to drive their large SUVs into town and pay 5 bucks. who cares? But everyone else, like the people that cleans their homes or works in their offices, they can't afford that. Councillor Wayne Walker is also concerned about equity. So how are we going to deal with that? Because this is a penalty and it's a blunt penalty. He voted no and Clive Matthew Wilson agrees. He believes a better way to cut congestion in Auckland is to create more T3 lanes on the motorway to prioritise vehicles with multiple occupants. If you get it three or four, you're talking about a quarter of the number of cars. You wouldn't need this ridiculous scheme. There's also a risk that drivers avoid parts of the motorway where a charge is applied and clog the roads around them. You do get a little bit of that, but then they get frustrated with um, clogging up the rat runs um, and they come back. But no one's arguing drivers have sat for too long waiting for a solution to Auckland's gridlock gripe. Zane Small, News Hub.